You know, in this lecture we'll talk about the story of the great poem, The Night in the Panther Skin. Actually, the story in a nutshell is about the adventures of two knights. The first one is Tariel, if the is the hero of the poem, is with the nickname The Knight in the Panther Skin. And the second one is Aftandil that is the commander of the Arab armies. And uh, in more detail we can say that uh, the story can be divided into two parts. The first part is the search for Tariel. And uh, the second part is the search for Tariel's beloved, the standard John. So, in the first part, the search for Toriel, actually, uh, the king of Arabia, Osteban, and Toriel go to a hunting competition. And uh, they took a break from the competition and uh, lay down under a tree and suddenly they saw uh, a mysterious knight uh, crying uh, by uh, the river he is dressed with a panther skin and uh, King Mustafar was very curious about him he wanted to know who is this mysterious knight therefore he sent uh, servants to try to encounter him in order to find out who is this mysterious knight. Okay, but the knight reacts, uh, reacts violently and kills all the servants that sent to encounter him and then disappears. So King Rostevan is very curious to know who is he, uh, this mysterious knight and uh, his daughter uh, Tinatin that uh, she is also of Tandil's uh, beloved he sent, she sent uh, of Tandil to search for the mysterious knight. Of Tandil searches all over the, the world and he finds the mysterious knight after two years and nine months. And the mysterious knight tells of Tandil that his name is Toriel. He was the commander of the India's fleet and uh, he was uh, in love with the daughter of King, the standard John, but she was abducted by the demon king and uh, from uh, the moment that she was abducted, uh, Toriel becomes very depressed and uh, he goes uh, to the wilderness uh, with uh, Asmat that, is, that uh, she is the servant of uh, Mestan and uh, Aftandil is very excited from Tariel's story and uh, he tells Tariel that he will help him to find his beloved, the standard John. Okay. So that is the first part of the story. The second part of the story is the search for Tariel's beloved, the standard John. Actually, 
of the deal with, with Tariel and with uh, Ridon, that is the king of uh, Murgazanza or the ruler of Murgazanza, and uh, with an army of 300 soldiers. Uh, went to uh, rescue uh, the star from her captivity by the Kajis. Actually, uh, the Kajis country is a fortress and, is, and it is impossible to penetrate the the supporters because uh, of the fact that uh, uh, they have very strong soldiers but of the deal if we don't Tariel and 300 soldiers did the unthinkable and they succeeded to invade the fortress of the Kadis and to rescue Nestan from her captivity. And the story ends in an happy ending. In the sense that Tariel marries, uh, first of all, after the deal, marries his beloved Tinatin, and then Tariel marries his beloved Nestan Darajan. Okay, in the next step, I'll tell you the story in detail. Okay, so the story can be divided, as I already mentioned before, the story can be divided into two parts. The first part is of Tandil's quest for Tariel, the titular knight in the, the, knight in the Potter skin. And the second part is of Tandil's quest for the standard John Tariel's love. So in the first part, the search for Tariel, the king of Arabia, Osteban, has no chance and confers uh, the kingship on his only daughter, the beautiful and wise uh, Tinatin. She has a tender affection for Aftandil, that is to say, she is in love with uh, Aftandil. Aftandil, the knight and commander in chief of Mustavan armies. One day, Aftandil challenges King Mustavan to a hunting competition. After three days of shooting game, they encounter a knight crying by a river. He is dressed in a panther skin and kills the slave sent by the king to contact him, then disappears. Osteban sends parties across the world to search for the mysterious knight, but becomes disheartened when he fails. <coughs> Tinatin asks Aftandil to find the strange knight in three years, promising him her end in marriage in return. After two years and nine months of searching, Aftandil finds the knight in the panther skin hiding in a cave with only a maiden for company. His name is Tariel, son of King Saridan, who has the seventh kingdom of India. He had served as heir to King Parsedan, king of the other six kingdoms of India for many years before falling in love with Parsedan's daughter, the standard Jan. Tariel wages war with the Katavians to earn the favor of the star, but is dismayed to learn that she has already been promised to the Huarzian uh, prince, Horozem. Tariel couldn't bear the idea of her marriage, and at the stand's request, he killed the suitor for them. The princess was placed on a boat and set adrift on the seas, 
despite Tariel's lengthy search for his love, he couldn't find her. Later, he met Nuradin Pridon, ruler of Bulgazanzar, who told him that Nestan was alive, but trapped on a distant boat. Tariel retired to a cave to live in the wilderness with Asmat, the former servant and messenger of Nestan. Moved by this story, Avtandil promises his friendship and brotherhood to Tariel and agrees to help him find his love, Nestan Darajan. Avtandil returns home to Arabia and tells Tinatin the story of Tariel. Against King, against King Ostevan's wishes, he returns to his new friend, Tariel. So, we finish with the first part of the story. And the second part of the story is the search for Tariel. A search for uh, the standard region, Tariel's beloved. Okay? So, in the uh, second part of the story, after Dil then leaves Tariel to go to the kingdom of Quindon, where he doesn't hear anything new about the stand. Continuing his quest, he arrives in the city of Gulanshao, he meets Patman, the wife of the chief Hussein, who falls in love with him. Of Tandil sensing, she knows the fate of the stand succumbs to Patman's seduction. She tells him she has been keeping Nestan at her place and as Nestan was promised to the king's son, she helped her escape, but in her flight, Nestan was abducted by Kaji, the demon king. After this, then returns on to Pridon and to the cave of Tariel, and later, all three friends, that is to say, after this, Tariel and Pridon, decide to go to the country of Kaji with an army of 300 men to find and deliver Nestan. When she is released, all return to Arabia, where King Ostevan forgives of Tandil his flight and breaking the king's order. They all celebrate the marriage of the later, that is to say of Tandil, with King's only daughter, Tinatin. They then leave for India, where Tariel marries his love, Nestan. Pridon also returns to his homeland, and uh, the three friends reign happily with prosperity and generosity in their own respective realms. Okay, thank you very much.